Good evening, I'm Mi Young Lee. The teacher strike took yet another turn today as the Premier spoke publicly about the ongoing dispute. The president of the BCTF was quick to respond. But as Stephen Smart reports, at the end of the day, things aren't any better. Day two of the new school year with teachers again on picket lines. Both sides in the dispute steadfast. Oh, it's uh, unfortunate that government uh, is not prepared to move. While we've heard much from the union president and education minister in recent weeks, noticeably absent has been Premier Christy Clark, with the exception of a few comments on social media. But that ended today. And I know that students, parents, and I believe classroom teachers are all very unhappy about this. I am absolutely uh, unhappy about it as well. Clark tried to sound conciliatory, urging teachers to suspend strike action while negotiations continue. Teachers do deserve a raise. There's no question about that. But it seems she couldn't resist taking a few shots at teacher demands as well. I mean, for heaven's sakes, 150,000 other public sector employees who work just as hard have settled for far less. They didn't get a $5,000 signing bonus. They didn't get unlimited massage. They didn't get an extra day off every year. Except that's not correct. The BCTF never asked for free unlimited massages or an extra full day off. Errors that prompted a quick reaction from the union. We're not suspending any strike right now. Not to mention pouring cold water on any suggestion of financial hardships for teachers forcing them to back down. And our members are standing strong and they are resolved. So what could end this dispute? The Labour Relations Board does have the power to designate schools an essential service, forcing teachers to suspend strike action, although this former LRB vice chair says it's too soon for that. At this point, the, the board has given some preliminary decisions and it's indicated that at least two weeks is not something that would cause a serious and immediate disruption to educational programs. The question remains, however, is it three weeks, is it three months? Further uncertainty for an already bleak situation. Stephen Smart, CBC News, Victoria. And on the day Premier Clark publicly addressed the teachers' dispute, hundreds rallied outside her office in West Kelowna. This was the scene there late this afternoon. Teachers, students and labour leaders were among those lining the streets. And it's one of several events organised by the BC Federation of Labour in solidarity with the teachers.